the, 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 the people what who are watching to to what do you want to convey the message you I would I would like to tell everyone to save us and help animals I would also like to explain to everybody that plants are not just are not just everyday objects that are everywhere they are actually living beings so are quite fascinating if you look at them closely okay The book is basically about me. The summary of the book is me going to Granny Grandpa's house and getting stuck because of COVID. Then slowly I get distracted of my sadness of being stuck and begin observing my surroundings and asking Granny and Grandpa and the man and Papa about what I'm noticing. For example, why does the lot is lot is up thirty petals? Why not less? Why not few? Then why are all the plants green in color? उट Same. It's been no, really happy. We both as a proud parents for really our little. Really happy, Amma. Happy. Amma, think about birds. Think. <laughs> Be happy and excited. Yeah. Rocking. Okay. <laughs> so to have our little champ here, and uh, we are um, now I mean, the, the the really happy parents, the proud parents, and I think it's you know I mean the 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 crowd who came here, we are also thank for you know, really thankful for them and the media people. And I think you know, I mean, we're looking at some of the facts. Probably, you know, things are going right. He would be the youngest author in terms of the fiction, you know, you know, in the category of fiction. He would be the youngest author. Um, you know, might be in the most probably in the world or in India. We just want to look at some of the facts. Um, and um, and uh, what else? Um, he's right now also in the you know, in the way of writing his third book. Um, the the first book he wrote was in the age of seven. Okay, which is it's basically yeah, this is basically a dinosaur facts book. And um, now while um, you know he was writing those, we were looking for um, you know, some of the publishers, and we came came across uh, the three books by Entry. And while we were uh, reviewing that book, he completed his second book. So while we we're talking with the publisher, we decided to actually um, you know take his second book and publish. So right now his first book is still not published, and which we hope we'll get it out very soon. And uh, and as I said, he's you know onto his third book, uh, which uh, I didn't want to you know I mean um, you know, tell upon the story. I will keep it secret. Okay, but yeah, it will be uh, soon you know published. No telling the story. No spoilers. No teasers. Thank you. Yes. So Austin, what are your future plans? Do I know books? Write more books. To become a naturalist or a paleontologist. Okay, so any other plans? Any more books? Or are you planning to act in more movies? Yeah, depending on the movie. Depending on the movie. So you. If it's a nature documentary, no matter what, even if it's in somewhere like Brazil, yes. Brazil. But if it's a movie like September 2013, which I'm going right now. Then okay, because it's helping. It's telling us to help others. It's telling helping humanity. Not one of those. Not one of those shooting bad movies. No violence. Unless the violence involves the tiger hunting its prey. That's also violence. Okay. So what's your message to the others around you? I like I said, save nature. Don't consider plants as things. Protect animals. And the main also, I would like I would the book to convey a message to to tell everybody to educate them about plants. So yeah. Also, also why why is the also why are the also no why the mic so soft? Why the mic so soft? Okay, okay, no, no. Let me tell you the question. So why do you, like, why did you want to write the book? Hmm. Firstly. Two sponsors, sloth bears and other animals. Sloth bears. Sixty-six okay. sloth bears from Valley Fresh Oats. Okay. Secondly, so that I can gain little money to say help animals. Mm-hmm. Then to like educate people about plants. Okay. They're not just boring green objects lying everywhere. They're actually living beings, you know. 